Hello and welcome and today is a big day. Why is it a big day? Because this is the last round in the red light therapy uh, body panel showdown where I compare these six leading body panels um, that are well established in the red light therapy market and we announce a winner. I told you this is exciting. So uh, today we look at the warranty and everything else. So by everything else I mean uh, bells and whistles, what they come with, what they don't come with, design features, you know, ease of use features, all those little things that are worthy of being included in a review but not their own category. So um, my name is Alex and I'm from alexfigures.com. If this is the first video you've watched, you just came here to uh, see the winner, I highly recommend going back to the start and going through the whole series because there's a lot of uh, information and comparisons that I have done. Um, over the last few days or weeks uh, about these panels, these six panels. And if you want to see our overall summary, check out the next video I post because that is just going to condense everything into one without getting into the nitty gritty details that we have done over the last few days. Uh, if you do want to go deep into the nitty gritty details and see all the numbers and, and measurements, head over to alexfergus.com because I will be publishing all the data over there. Uh, and you can sign up to my email over there and also jump on Instagram um, where I share a lot of insights and behind the scenes shots. And if you don't know anything about red light therapy, everything you need to know about red light therapy is my very popular article. It's getting thousands of reads every week. So um, head over to alexfergus.com. I'll put a link below as well and you can check that out. So. Just to refresh you, six panels, Mito Red, Red Therapy, Mito HQ, Platinum LED Therapy, Juve, and then Red Light Rising. That's what we'll be looking at. Uh, one thing I should mention, and um, you may have picked up on this at the end of round five, I, um, I did my math wrong. So um, I calculated the Mito Red score I, the calculation was done wrong. I had them at 30 points, which put them at third place. But in fact, they should have had 32 points. And remember, less is better when it comes to these points. So, um, in fact, they weren't third, as I had mentioned. They were, in fact, fourth place, which meant a red light rising, who I said were fourth, actually come into third place now. So, um, and to, to give you a heads up, uh, Platinum, currently leading, 22 points. Juve, second, 29 points. Um, red Light Rising, 3rd on 31, Mito Red, 4th, 32, uh, and then Mito HQ, 5th at 34, and Red Therapy, and last place at 37 points. So, warranty. Let's get into warranty. So, warranty is a big thing, because these panels cost, you know, a lot of money, right? I mean, six, seven hundred bucks for the cheapest panel, right through to 1200 for the Juve, the most expensive panel. It's a big chunk of change, and um, if you are going to get two, like stack them all up together or you know do one on the front and one on the side you know you're talking serious money here and now all these are all these panels are electronic devices um they've got a lot of moving parts with fans and and uh there's a lot of electronic components inside so the last thing you'd want is to get one of these and then find out you know two months later it doesn't work especially because you can't just take it back to the store down the road you know most of these i think all these companies only work uh online so they are heavy, they are bulky, you know, if you've thrown away the packaging, which you often do, you know, to get this back to, to headquarters, it may be a lot of work and it may be a lot of cost. And in fact, I've heard of horror stories where people have bought these panels and they haven't worked and trying to get them back has ended up costing them a lot of money. So that doesn't really help with the warranty side of things, but we will cover that in the everything else section. But if you are spending this money, you do want to know that you've got the cover, right? And that's why I wanted to include warranty in this um, showdown and, and have it in its own category rather than just lumping it in with everything else. So let's run through the warranty terms on all of these panels. Mito Red, the Mito Max, that has a two-year warranty. Red Therapy, which is pretty good, you know, two years is a good time frame. Red Therapy, uh, also two years. Mito HQ, two years. Platinum, LED, they actually have a three-year warranty. So um, that's really good. That's three years. I was quite surprised by that. So it's very impressive. Juve, two years. And then Red Light Rising. They only do one year warranty, which is a bit of a disappointment given that all the rest do two. I mean, you know, I, I think two is the standard given, um, you know, four of the players at two and, and Platinum at three. So that's a shame. So I mean, scoring these guys uh, on their warranty terms was, was easy um, because it's very easy to 
quantify that, isn't it? So, uh, working from the bottom up, red light rising in last place, so they get six points. Uh, and then we have four panels on second equal. We have the Mito Red, the Red Therapy, Mito HQ, and then the Juve. They will get two points for second equal. And then the clear winner, Platinum, LED Therapy. Uh, three year warranty, so they get one point. That leaves us with one round to see uh, who is going to come out number number top. This is a tricky one, and I I have I've gone through this so many times. I've changed it, changed the points around, and I've, you know how do you weight something in terms of this is better than that? I, it's it's very tricky. You'll see what I mean as I go through all these. So I know you, you're probably going to disagree with some of this stuff, but hey, I just want to give you every, all the information, and then you can always. You know, go through all these videos and, and come up with your own scoring system and weight it based on what's more important to you. The good thing is, you've got all this information now. You don't have to agree with my scoring system. So, let's go through it. The Mito Red, Mito Max. What I like about them, or the everything else pros, uh, they included safety goggles. Now, I know this is a controversial topic. We've talked about it before. Um, I personally don't wear goggles when I'm using the red light, but if I am right in front of it, Sometimes I do put them on. I don't know. I don't know what to do. To be honest, like it's still a tricky one. But I like the fact that they include the goggles because then it gives the user, the consumer, the power to use it or, or not. Whereas if it didn't come with safety goggles, then you're more more likely not to use it, right? Because not many people have complete blackout safety goggles. So anyway, that was a nice plus. Um, they offer financing, which is which is great. I mean, especially because some of these panels, like I said. You know, all the panels are quite expensive, but um, if you want to get multiple ones, you know, it's a big chunk of money. Um, I don't like about it is two things. Up here, the PowerPoint. You'll notice all of these panels, except for these two, have the PowerPoint coming up the back. Uh, they're all plugged in right now, so yeah, all of these have the cable going behind the panels. You can't see it. These two stick out the top. And now, um, yeah, some people might think, hey, well, so what? But if you're putting this in your office or in a spare bedroom or, you know, your guest room or something like that, you know, you want it to look good. Eh? And these panels do look kind of cool. You see them, you're like, oh, what is that? Um, and then you got this ugly PowerPoint coming out the top. And, you know, that's a, just an overthought, I guess, with the design. Like, it would be very easy to have that at the back. Uh, so anyway, I, I had to give them a bit of a negative for that. The other negative for these guys, and it's a big one, a lot of people have brought it up. The company has only been around for a couple of months, so I'm filming this October 2019. The company started earlier this year. Um, and, you know, for some people, they, they don't like the fact that, you know, they're new to the game and maybe they don't have the support and the cash flow. To, what happens if they find out there's a product defect and they've got to do a massive recall or warranty issues and, you know, they go bankrupt? There's all these concerns, right? But that's not a fault of Mito Red. Because all new companies are new at some point. All companies are new at some point, right? It's just, you just have to get through that phase. Uh, so far, like I've spoken to a few people that have these panels. Um, I've spoken to the manufacturer. They, or the founder of the company, the, you know, everything looks good. I mean, they seem very legit. There's only been one return issue that, oh, not issue. There's only been one customer that bought them and had to return it because some of the LEDs were off. Um, I've got two of their panels, don't have any issues. I've had them for five, six months now, maybe since they first started or early on. So, you know, it's it's just one of those things. I I, I want to bring it up. Um, that's what I mean. This this whole section is very tricky. But anyway, that's the Mito Red. Red Light Therapy. Sorry, Red Therapy. Uh, Red Rush 720. So, again, you'll notice at the top, they've got that same PowerPoint issue, which is, which is a shame. Um, on the plus side, they also included safety goggles, which is great. They do have this extra wide design. It's, it's a lot wider than all the panels, obviously. Mito HQ is the exception. Uh, and I do like that because, you know, if you stand in front of the panel and you want to get full shoulder to shoulder width, um, you're definitely going to get that with this wider panel. And I know you can get you know, it's beam angles and all the treatment areas you stand further away. But um, if you don't know that treatment, like you don't know where the light's going, right? You just see red everywhere. So. At least with a wider panel, you know you're probably getting a lot more coverage. Uh, especially if you're an athlete or a bigger guy or girl. Um, 
Because otherwise, you know, when you're using these narrow ones, and we'll get to this when we talk about the red light rising, you think, well, do I have to do two halves? Like, do I do the left side and the right side? And then you spin around and do the back, and then you got to do it again. It starts taking a lot of time. You know, if you're doing 10 minute sessions, that's a 10 minute and 10 minute, you know, you end up spending an hour doing it. So the wider design is, is really cool. Um, they also came with a country specific PowerPoint. So um, I'm in New Zealand, our plugs are different to America, and uh, the panel came with a local plug, so I didn't have to go out and buy a travel adapter, travel adapter and you know have that ugly look on the, the PowerPoint. Uh, I don't know if I can show you that, so just a bit out of reach. But anyway, that was cool. Um, what I don't like, like I said, the PowerPoint at the top, and I don't like this. There's like metal band here. Uh, so that, Red Therapy do a Red Rush 360, and it's half of one of these, right? And it looks like they've just joined them together and um, put them in this new case. But there's a big, like, three, four inch block there. Um, and so obviously there's no light coming out there. And these LEDs aren't angled down or anything. So you're going to get, like, this blank zone. Uh, and I know you'll still get some light. But, you know, like, if you want to... These are body panels, right? So this is, like, a top half and a bottom half. And then you miss the belly button type area. So uh, let's, let's look at the Mito HQ. This is the, the really cool black one, and let's start on that. Uh, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised when I opened the box and, and saw the black panel because um, it's very cool. It's very, very cool, especially when you turn it on. And uh, I don't know if I have the power. Oh. Uh, it's probably not going to show up in the um, in the shot, but you know, the black and the red, it's pretty, pretty cool, right? Especially because all the other panels are um, white. Well used to be white, there's a few more color co colors coming out now. So yeah, I really like the black, you know, if you want to put that in a modern contemporary office or, you know, a guest room or something like that, or, um, or in a gym or a yoga studio, like, I think that looks really, really cool. So good on them for doing that. I'm sure we'll start seeing this with the other panels in coming years. What else have I got here? Extra white design again, so that's another big plus, um, without the band issue. It's the same height as the rest as well, so, uh, you know, you're definitely getting a bigger coverage area there. Um, three negatives. The first one, all of these panels have the option to select between the near infrared lights, LEDs working, the red LEDs working, um, or both, right? So, 99, in fact, the only time I've ever used, whenever I use these, I always use both, unless I'm testing, which I've done in the last few days. Um, so, that way, of switches work. And now most of the switches, or all of the switches, apart from this one, are quite easy to use. I'll show you what I mean. They're quite easy to see which lights are working. So here, you see it lights up, might be hard to see, but you see the light comes on. So I can take a quick look at it and think, all right, they're both working. Now you may, be, you may think, well, if there's light coming out, you know it's working, right? But the thing is, the near infrared light is invisible. So. There's been times, and this has only been since I've been testing it, where I think the panel is on because there's red light going, but then later on I realized the near infrared light wasn't switched on. Well, this happened with the Mito HQ, which is why I want to bring it up. So, with these panels, it's easy because you just look up, all right, well, you know, the, the light isn't on the near infrared switch, right? So, you flick it on. With Mito HQ, their switch is don't have that light. There's no LED. I don't know if you can see this, but there's just three black switches here. And even like, you know, you feel back there, you don't even know which one's on or off. And a few times I'm flicking around waiting for a twitch. So, I mean, cause it's very easy to turn that on. The red light goes, and then you've done your 20 minute session. And then you realize the fire infrared light wasn't working. You think, oh, well, that was a waste. Again, it's nothing major, but I don't know, it's something I thought of, and it kind of annoyed me, so that's a negative. Um, they're also a pretty new company, uh, especially in the red light space. So they sell, Mito HQ sell blue blockers, they sell all sorts of mitochondrial support um, supplements and, and products and all sorts. They're a new company, but they're also very new with the red light panel space. So uh, I think they've probably been selling this for a year, maybe a bit over a year. So a bit longer than Mito HQ, but still a new sort of company. The other issue, and we covered this in the round one, in the shipping and pricing uh, round, they only ship to Australia as of the time I'm recording this. They say they're going to be shipping to the States uh, at the end of the year, so we're getting close to that one or two months. It wouldn't surprise me if it gets pushed back because 
I have been involved in e-commerce and getting in overseas and, and I know it's a lot of headaches. Um, especially shipping a heavy panel like this and all the tax issues and import duties and the warehousing and logistics. So I don't know. I mean, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and yeah, maybe two, three months time they're shipping to the States. I hope they do because it's going to add another panel to the market and you know, more options for the consumer. Right. Um, but right now I'm reviewing these panels right now and unfortunately it's only available to Australian customers. So, um, yeah, that is a big sort of downside. Um, switches, new route. So that's everything for my OHQ. Let's put it over here. Now we have the Platinum. So the first thing that I need to mention, which is new to these panels, or that I've, I've, uh, wasn't in these three previous panels, the Platinum LED Biomax range are all modular design. Um, they have a modular capability, expansion capability. I don't really know what's called. Anyway, up the top here, oh, up the top here, I can unscrew these wire hooks, and you'll see these two studs, these screws here. At the bottom of the panel are some holes, and what you can do is you can get another one of these. I keep pressing the button. You can get another one of these slotted on the top and hang it, which is really, really cool. Because then you have the whole head to toe coverage. All of these body panels, aren't, unless you're a child or quite short, they're not going to get your whole head to toe coverage. But what you can do is you can get two of these, put them in really easy, and um, you have that whole head to toe uh, coverage. Plus, they sell a rack where you can clip them in and you can go side by side, you know, one here, one there, and get that wider width, you know, that these ones have out of the box. Um, so that's really cool. It's also cool because from a budgeting point of view, if you want to um, get one this year and then next year get another one or save a bit of money or test it out, you know you can simply clip, it, clip them in and, and work on your dream setup, which is exactly what I'm doing, to be honest. You know, every now and then I get another one, I'm going to stack it up, and I know the end goal that I want to have with my, my red light therapy setup. So that's, that's really cool. It's a really cool feature. Um, I should note that if you order them multiple panels in one order, like if you go on the website now and buy two of these, you do get a discount, which is great. I mean, that, that brings the price point even further down. Plus discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, will give you a discount on all of these panels. Um, so that's cool. And plus they do financing as well. So, you know, if you want to build that dream setup from day one, you might as well get the discounted order or get the discount deal, put a bit on financing if you have to, and then you can start reaping the benefits of red light therapy from, from day one. Um, so yeah, that's the modular design. Built-in timer. This is the other cool thing. Uh, let's hope you can see this up here. There's a little screen up here with all the controls built in. Um, there is a switch on the back, a power switch. So personally, I just leave that on all the time and that runs power to the, um, the whole panel. You'll notice these other switches and plugs here. They're for when you add another panel, you clip them into there. So you don't have to set the timer on each panel. You just control it through one and it will send the data through which is cool. But anyway, the uh, timer up the top here, you can select between time, so anything from zero to 20 minutes, and then you can select between red light and near infrared light, um, hit OK, and then you've got the LEDs down here showing you which ones are uh, running. And then the countdown timer, the timer starts counting down, when it ends, it kills power to the LEDs, so you don't have to, you know, you don't accidentally do 30 minutes on your front and then you think, oh, I've got to only, you know, I've got five minutes to do the back, for instance. It's pretty cool. It's a really cool feature, actually. Um, I didn't value them at first, but, because uh, Duke brought this out with their panel, their second generation panel, and I thought I was a bit of a gimmick, but it's, it's actually been pretty cool to have. Um, what else? Like I said, they offer financing options, which is great. They also came with the eye goggles, another plus. They also came with the country-specific plug, so that's great for us international customers. And, last of all, we talked about experience in the industry. These guys have been around for a very long time. They've been in this, the high-powered LED space for nine years now. So, Platinum LED uh, used to be, or well, they still are, they, they make grow lights, right? Um, they entered the red light therapy space about three years ago, maybe four years ago, and um, they brought on like some medical advisors because they realized, man, there's a lot to this and you know the benefits are amazing. And they took their knowledge and their logistics and supply chains and manufacturing capabilities and then came out with their first bio series range. And now this is their second generation, the Biomax range. So these guys know what they're doing. They know 
that you know you're getting a quality product, you know the, the company's there to back them up, you know, they've got a three year warranty, right? So you know in three years time, this company's still going, it's still going to be around, which is the concern those other, which is the concern our readers of mine have had with these newer companies. They're like, hey, yeah, sure, they could offer a five year warranty, but what happens if the company's bankrupt in two years? Which is a valid concern. Um, so anyway, these guys are the real deal, and uh, they make all their own panels, they do a lot of research, and it's why they've come out with this new Biomax range, with the re-engineered internals, the low EMF, low flicker, higher power, you know, wider spectrum wavelengths. So that's a big plus. I couldn't find any negatives. Um, you could say their design's a little bit boring, but that's only because, you know, it's next to this cool black one, and really it's not boring, it's just, that's just the standard, I guess. Um, I don't know, if you've got a negative, please let me know, because I'd love to hear it. I hope I don't come across like I'm being biased here, but it's, hey, it's a good panel. I mean, it's a reason why it's winning most of these rounds, or in the top two or top three. Let's move on to the Juve. And Juve also has the modular design, uh, so you can see the holes at the top here, and then I think, oh, the studs come separate, you screw them in, that's right. So these just unscrew, and I screw onto the top there. I wonder if I can connect these two together, that's something I should look into. Um, what else? Also have the built-in timer. Their timer is a little bit... I don't know if the power's on for this. Mustn't be. Damn it. Uh, their timer is a little bit plain Jane compared to the Platinum one. The Platinum one is like an LCD screen and um, has a little logo. This is just an old school digital timer, uh, which is all you need. Um, you just adjust the time, you hit play to start it, and then you can select mode at the bottom here and choose between red, infrared, or both. Um, you know, it's a timer. You're not, you're not, uh, you're not buying these panels for a fancy screen. Um, what else? They also offer financing options. They've been in the red light therapy space for three, coming up four years now. But they are well known, and a lot of athletes and celebrities and influencers use their panels, so they're quite well known. Downside is. They didn't come with a local plug, so I had to get a travel adapter. I can't remember if it came with a travel adapter or not. They may, they may have came with a travel adapter. I can't remember. But either way, you then have this bulky... Oh, I hate using travel adapters, you know, like in my office and that, because they just take up so much room. Anyway, so um, these guys have been in the space for a while. They've got a lot of... Uh, they've sold a lot of panels. Um, I do hear negatives about their customer support, and some people have had issues with the returns. I don't know if it's just a percentage thing, you know, like 0.1% of the panels are faulty or whatever, and because they're selling so many panels, you, you hear those stories a bit more. Um, I don't know. It's just something that I thought I'd mention. Uh, you know, do your own research. But, I mean, I've had their panels for a couple of years now. I've got three or four Jews, maybe, maybe more. Um, one has some flickering lights. Uh, I've been using that for two years now. Um, which is annoying, it only kicks in after 10 minutes. I have two of these, and um, one of them, yeah, a row of lights don't work at the bottom, so that's, <laughs> it's not great. Um, but I couldn't be bothered returning it because it'd be such a big expense. You know, because I'm in New Zealand and you pay so much to get it here and the customs and the duty, so I just put up with it. So, you know, that's not great, uh, especially because this is the most expensive panel. Um, but they do offer the two year warranty, so, Look, keep that in mind. There's one last benefit though that these guys have, and it's it's quite powerful. They are FDA class two medical device approved or certified. I live in New Zealand, so I don't totally get the whole FDA thing, but I know that um, this is a big thing. And I think it adds a lot of credibility, not only to red light therapy, um, but to this particular company. So, you know, like, if you're watching this, you're probably into red light therapy and biohacking and health and alternative health and all that sort of stuff. And you probably read the articles like my benefits of red light therapy article and stuff, and you know about it. But if you're someone who's just, you know, a soccer mom and their friend's like, hey, check out this red light device, and they're like, okay, and they go to the Jew website and they see FDA approved, um, you know, that, that's a big thing for them. So good on them for getting it. Uh, I don't know the process of getting it. I don't know if any, every company can submit. Even, I don't know how it works. But anyway, they've got it, so that's cool. Finally, red light rising full stack. The obvious thing is the design. A lot taller than all these panels, um, and the color. So, it, I really like the red, uh, probably not as much as the black, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the taller design is great because you are getting more coverage, 
but on the downside, it's a lot narrower. So like I said before, you know, you do one half and then the other half. Plus I got these bands. So I wonder, you know, if it was all stacked together without these bands, would it just be the same height as this? Who knows? Um, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I was really, when I opened that box, that was before I saw this black one. I was like, wow, this is cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? They also came with the country specific plug, which is great. Um, negative with these guys though is the switches are on the back. So you're going to reach over the top and flick them on. And it's weird. They flick different ways. So it's, it's just weird. Um, they light up so you can tell, you know, which, which colors are working. But um, I don't know. I, I'd much prefer them on the top or on the side. Because if you've got that bolted on the wall or like hanging from the wall, you can't, you know, you just got to... Oh, it's just annoying annoying things anyway, but uh, that's that's it. That's red light rising So those are all my comments on the uh, everything else section and I've probably missed some things and I've probably Overplayed some things and unplayed others um, But anyway, these are my thoughts and uh, you're more than welcome to do your own review or, or leave your own comments I'm curious if you have some of these panels, you know, maybe you've had juve and had problems or you have juve and you haven't had problems or you know you've tried the modular design and it doesn't work as well as it should whatever like leave the comments below because i'd love to hear them and i'm sure other readers or viewers who are coming here to get information to help them make an informed decision would, would love to hear these uh, viewpoints as well so let's do the rankings now this was very very hard because like i said earlier how do you how do you quantify this i mean the safety goggles you do a score. It was very, very tricky. And I, I changed it so many times. But at the end of it, I realized, you know what? There are two, there are two clear standouts. And then there's everyone else. So what I've done is um, awarded Juve first place for this round. Uh, primarily because they have that FDA approval. Otherwise... Platinum and Juve probably would have been first equal, um, so I've given Platinum second place, alright? But in the scheme of things, it doesn't affect the outcome of the overall score, okay? Or the overall ranking. So I've given Juve first, I've given Platinum second because I didn't have any negatives for them, um, and it was just simply because Juve had the FDA approval that I gave them number one, but then these guys do have the eye goggles that Juve don't have. Um, and they did come with the country specific plug, so you could argue they should have got number one. But anyway, it, it's done. Uh, so first, second, and then everyone else I gave third equal. Because I changed it so many times, I was like, oh, well this one's really cool because of the design, and then it's wider, but then it's a new company, and they're only in Australia, and then I, the switches really annoy me, uh, so then that was a downside, and you know, Mido right over here, like it's it's a brand new company, but then they offer the safety goggles and they do financing and they can, um, oh no, they didn't. so you know what I mean? Like it, it got really confusing and I'm sorry if, if you're a big fan of one of these panels or maybe you're the company, you know, the, the founders of these companies, you're like, hey, that's not fair. Like I should have been better. Uh, you know, share those thoughts. I honestly like it. I know I'm going to get criticism for this, but it was never meant to be a scientific exam or a review. It was just my review. So, um, yeah, third equal for everyone. So, first, second, third equal. So, let's do the total points for round six. And this is just for this round, the warranty and everything else. In sixth place, we had the Red Light Rising full stack. And that was just because of their one-year warranty. That's why they fell so much down there. So, they got nine points. Uh, then we had a third equal, which was these three panels. And they all got five points. And then first equal... Platinum and Juve, and they got three points apiece. So, now, we can do the total points for the Red Light Therapy Body Panel Showdown after six rounds. So let's go from the bottom up. In sixth place, we have, which is last, sorry. <laughs> uh, we have the Red Light Therapy, I didn't mean to laugh. Sixth place is last in this case, because there's only six panels. Uh, red Light Therapy, Red Rush, 720. Um, I'll give a quick spiel. Unfortunately, they just fall short in a lot of areas. Uh, the EMF was a big one. Um, price uh, wasn't... Oh, the price was okay. But they're 
consistently at the bottom end of the, the reviews, so that's why they've ended up at the bottom, so that's a shame. Maybe a second generation product will, will improve. Uh, fifth place, we have, with 40 points, so 42 for red light therapy, 40 points for the red light resin full stack. And it was very close between them, um, well, it's spread out a little bit. Them in fourth place was only a point difference. Uh, red light resin full stack, unique design which is great, um, but yeah, just, just missing in a few, few areas. Amazing for flicker though, like the only one that had zero flicker, which is great. Uh, in fourth place, we have the Mido HQ Mido panel with 39 points, so only a point difference. Um, being restricted to Australia at the moment is a big downside, um, but there's a lot of cool things about this panel, and I think if they can get into the American market, you know, it'll be great. Um, all right, and now we get to the uh, business end. In third place, we have da, 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 on 37 points the Mito Red Mito Max. So this was, I think it was the cheap, or maybe it was the cheapest panel. I think it was the cheapest panel. It was like so long ago. I did round one. I need to pull up all the data, and they pretty much well-rounded good panel all right nothing fancy they don't have the build-in timers uh they don't have the mod excuse me modular design and all that they just do the basics really well 660 850 good power good emf levels good for good good price good um warranty you know two years they, they are a, a new company which we just spoke about but anyway that's the pl place which is good because i've been using this for a while and i, I do like this panel so um, I think they'll be happy with that result given they've only been in the market for yeah, less than a year to come out third place out of six. So good on Mito Red. Uh, now in second place we have Juve. Juve Solar. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised with how these guys held up and how this panel held up. The, bit, the most power by a long shot. So if you're looking purely at power output, you know, that's obviously your, your go-to choice. Um, Flicker, EMF, everything was really good. I think they had some of the best EMF numbers as well, so that was that was also really good. Uh, no, maybe not quite the best, but they were up there. Um, modular design, they've got all the bells and whistles, built-in timer and all of that. Um, the downside is the price. They are like four or five hundred dollars more expensive than these other panels. And there's no discount code as well, so discount code Alex gives you a discount on all these panels. However, if you use discount code Alex for Juve, it's not a discount code, it's a promo code. You get a free book of free supplements. So given that they're already at like that $1,200 mark, you know, not to get a 5% or, you know, even a 10% discount, um, it's, that's, that's a bit off-putting. They do have the FDA approval though, so that's cool. But, um, yeah, I mean, all right, so that leaves one panel left. And of course, that is the Platinum LED Therapy. Biomax 600 and these guys come out number one after six rounds of testing and are going to be for 2019 the uh, official alexfergus.com approved uh, highly recommended body panel so what can I say about them I mean they've done very very well great power great EMF great price point like really good price point 5% discount code as well with Alex um, the extra wavelengths, you know, they got the, a few extra near infrared wavelengths, which is unique. None of these other panels did that. Um, lots of experience. You know, it's a company that you can trust and rely on. They've been in the, in the game for nine years. Three-year warranty. I mean, that's huge peace of mind. Combine those two points together, you know, a company that's been in the space for nine years, plus they're offering a three-year warranty. They've got good um, price points. Good support, you can go on their website, find their phone number, you know, it's all over the web. Every page has their phone number, which is great. You know, some other companies, it's so hard to find a contact form or like a contact phone number or email address. So that's another big plus. Um, I'm impressed. I like the panel. My wife likes the panel. I was talking about my dream setup before, and I can give this away now that, um, you know, that the scoring is all done. My dream setup is to get two of these and two of their bigger brothers. Now, this is actually a funny thing. I'm gonna do a follow-up video, so you're gonna you're gonna have to hang around and watch this. I don't know when it'll be out, maybe a day or two. It's gonna be a follow-up, because there's actually a little bit of a sneak peek surprise 
not a surprise, just something to think about uh, after all this review. Something that might you might think, oh, well, maybe that was a better option. Um, you know what, I'm not going to reveal my dream setup until that video comes out. So subscribe to that. If you've been looking for a panel and you can't wait another day or two to go and uh, see what I say about this other panel, um, honestly, go and get this. You won't have any regrets. It's a good panel, it's a good price, good company, good service, good shipping, good features. It does everything really well and uh, there's a reason why it came out 7 points ahead of 2nd place. 25 points and then 32 and then 37. So, you know, that was well ahead of the rest. Uh, at one point there, you know, Juve was given a good run for the money, but, um, you know, the extra warranty, um, a few other little things, the wavelengths has make, made it stand up. Look, that's it for this round. Like I said, I'm going to do an overall summary video where I just go through the, the key points of every panel. Uh, that's more designed for someone that doesn't want to go through this whole series and just wants to watch this. Chances are if you're watching this video, you probably don't need to watch the overall video. Um, but I'm going to be publishing that. So make sure you hang around for that. Hit subscribe below. Head over to alexfigures.com. Check out the blog over there. I'll put a link below because um, I'll put all the data over there for, for this test. So you can see exactly what... Um, what the measurements were and all of that. Um, also hang around on my website and, and YouTube channel because what I want to do, I want to do some more reviews like this. So I actually want to do uh, a target target review. So they call them target panels. So these are like a handheld panel. All right, so the Red Light Horizon target device, the Juve Go battery powered one. Um, I'm going to see what, what else are out there. Just small panels. I'm going to do one of them, all right? A review, a big review for them. So it'll be the same things, testing power and everything like that. I also want to do a low powered um, panel review. So that's like the True Light, Dave Asprey's brand, the Gemberhead, um, the Rejuvenator, if I can get my hands on that, because there's a lot of secrecy around that product and it's very, very expensive. So I'd love to test that. Uh, and then I'll also compare those panels to the grow lights you see on Amazon and Alibaba. So I want to do that. That's going to be happening. And then I also want to do a mid-size panel. So, you know, like half or, you know, a third size. Because a lot of these companies do this. Like Mito HQ do a small one. Uh, Mito Red do a small one. I think Juve do a, a mini. Um, Platinum do a smaller one. So. I'm going to try to do that as well. Uh, so I've got lots of reviews coming up. I'm also hoping to use these tools I have, um, the light meter in particular, and I might do a, a blue blockers, blue light blocking glasses um, review as well. So be sure to subscribe. Head over to alexfigus.com, jump on my email list, um, find me on Instagram, see what I'm doing on the farm and everything like that, and um, leave your comments below. And if you want to buy any of these panels, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, I am affiliated with all of these companies, every single one of them. Now I did that because I didn't want to just choose the one that I recommend or use. Instead I was like, I'll be affiliated with all of them and so there's no bias, like I don't have any favorites so to speak. Uh, if you buy any of these panels using my discount code or promo code, I get a cut. If you don't use the code or the, promo co uh, the discount code or promo code, I don't get a cut, um, but you don't get a discount. So it's a win-win, right? But you don't have to do that. You can go find someone else's code. But if you have enjoyed all this work, uh, you know, it's been a good week or so more uh, filming all this and editing it. It's cost me a lot of money. You know, that meter was $3,000. Like, I spent a lot of money on this project. Um, getting some of these panels has been very, very expensive, especially with shipping to New Zealand. They are big panels. So I really do appreciate the support. If you can use that discount code or promo code, um, it really does help me do this and it will help fund those other projects and I'll continue putting out content like this. Um, yeah, if you buy the Juve, by the way, like I said, they don't do a discount code, but if you use code Alex, you'll be able to get a free gift. Uh, you've got to do that right at the checkout screen at the end there. It's a little bit confusing, but, um, Alex, A-L-E-X, and Alex works for all these other panels as well. So I'm going to sign up now, sign off now. I will do that overall video soon, and then stay tuned. Maybe I'll put it in the blog. Maybe I'll put it at the bottom of the blog article. So, you know what? Head over to alexfigures.com, see all the notes for this, and then at the bottom, I'm going to do a little 
thought-provoking piece or a little bonus piece um, and there I'll reveal my dream setup. I won't do a video on that, I don't think. Yeah, I'll do it in the blog. AlexFergus.com, there'll be a link in the show notes directly to that article. Uh, otherwise, just Google Alex Fergus red light showdown. That's all. I hope you've enjoyed this ride. Um, if you've missed any of the rounds and the comparisons, go back and um, watch them from the start. It was really fun doing this, and I'm looking forward to doing it with those other panels. If there's any other panels you want me to test or include in these reviews, leave them below as well, and uh, I'll do my best to try and source those panels and, or products. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.